Hello and welcome to Marlon and Marcus Garage. Or in fact, today it's not the garage, it's the forge. I've got some great news for you people. Well, I know I've been a bit, uh, you know, not on YouTube lately and the last time I've uploaded was like a month ago or so, maybe even longer. Reasons, well, I graduated high school, that was some stuff, you know, I had to finish at the school. Now I'm free, I'm... I'm free again, and uh, you know I've been working quite a lot for um, you know just working at my company, which I you know run, and it's quite a big of a job, right? So lots of customers work pretty much every day, so not that much time for video making. But we are back at it again, and then this time I will try to keep it, you know, maybe two three weeks apart from every video, maybe even shorter. We'll see. But. This is not why we're here today, because we are here today because I want to show you this. This is an Anyang C4115 kilogram power hammer, and it's the most expensive blacksmithing tool that I ever bought in my life. But I'm super happy about it. I mean, it's it's something that I've wanted for a really long time, and like seriously, this is like. If you're a blacksmith or you're interested in blacksmithing, this is the coolest thing you can have in your house or in your garage or forge. Because basically, for those who don't know, a power hammer is a machine that has a bigger ram in here. A ram is basically, a, it's a big hammer, it's a heavy hammer, which is driven by air, which is made by this machine, and then goes up and down, up and down, up and down, crushing things like wood or steel. Um, and it's just so cool. I mean, if you look at my uh, test subject right here, we can get a zoom on that if it's possible. If you see right here, this is roughly three millimeter, uh, no, not three, 30 millimeter thick uh, round stock. And this, you can see, there, uh, maybe you can see here, is basically just a piece of bacon strip look at this it's it's nothing and this is 30 millimeters and this thing right here I made it in like 30 seconds by just you know pressing on the lever and it just boom 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 finish if you know what this means we can actually we, we can make anything now we can make um, fences we can make uh, entrance doors we can make axes knives swords whatever the sky is the limit with a power hammer. But well, since we are already here, it would be a bit of a shame not to test it for you. Ah, huh? in that case, let's get straight into it. As you saw, this beast really packs a punch. Although this is actually the smallest Anyan power hammer you can buy, which is a bit strange because it's, it's already giant and weighs 450 kilograms. Uh, but as you can see, it really does do a lot of damage, pretty much. So it's really a great tool for upcoming projects where I will be able to really make things that are not only complicated and, you know, but also big. I can make big stuff quickly. Because that was, you know, my biggest problem, prob problem with blacksmithing until this point was that whenever a customer wanted something bigger or I wanted to do something bigger, 
you know, this hammer and my arm only packs that much punch. So if you would want if when I wanted to make it something, you know, like a sword or a saber or anything approximate size, it would take hours and hours and hours in just hammering. Not anymore. Now I've got the power hammer, now it's just a matter of pressing a lever and letting it rip. So this was a bit of a short informational video for you guys, you know, about what's coming up because I will be probably recording some cool blacksmithing projects in the near future. Also, there is a very nice mechanical project coming up maybe next week, maybe in two weeks from the time you're watching. It's a bit hard to tell you. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, infomercial of my power hammer and um, I hope you, uh, you know, are willing to perhaps leave me down a like, a subscribe. If you've got any questions, you know, please comment. And yes, I know the power hammer is wiggly and that's because it's currently on a pallet. That's not, you know, how it's supposed to be. That's not how it's going to be, you know, in the future. But for now, this is the best solution because I just got this like two days ago. So, um, yes. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep on... Uh, Come